in the early 1930s, workers doing excavation work stumbled upon something very large buried underground. What initially appeared to be a large rock actually turned out to be a very ornate, large carved sculpture. This excavation work was taking place on Bell Isle near Detroit. Located on the Detroit River between the city of Detroit and the city of Windsor, Ontario, Bell Isle has been used as a leisure spot since the mid-1840s. Before we talk about why this statue would have been buried underground here, let's look at the statue itself. Who are we looking at? There is little to no information on the newsreel where this film was found. We have information on where this is located. We have information on the time, the early 1930s. But that's pretty much all we have. The other bit of information that we have is that a gentleman came to inspect this statue and he estimated that it had been underground for between 50 and 75 years. This same gentleman also referred to the statue as she over and over again though. And I'm going to show you why I don't believe that this is a female, but a male. Let's assume that it is a female statue. Are there any clues that we might be able to look at to see who it might be? Well, she's holding a book. In ancient Greek religion and mythology, the Muses are the inspirational goddesses of literature, science, and the arts. They were considered the source of the knowledge embodied in poetry, lyric songs, and myths that were related orally for centuries in ancient Greek culture. The Muse Calliope and the Muse Cleo are often seen holding books or scrolls. Could this be one of the Muses? Let's take a look at Calliope and Cleo again. While I do see some similarities, Calliope and Cleo and the rest of the Muses are historically depicted with obvious breasts and obvious delicate features. Here we see an obvious lack of breasts. And look at the hand. Does that look like a female's hand? It looks a lot more like a male's hand to me. Here we see some pretty large feet. And panning up, the other hand is even more strikingly male in appearance to me. And now from a side shot, a complete lack of breasts. Between the flowing robes and the long hair, I could see why this gentleman would have assumed immediately that this was a woman. This isn't the only instance of statues being unearthed from underground. This is a statue of St. Joseph that was found at a dig site in Boston, Massachusetts. It was a parking lot and they were excavating for a new building and they came to find out that this was sitting on the site of an old church and somehow or another St. Joseph was buried underground and had been for many, many years. St. Paul is depicted in statue and paintings carrying a book or a scroll, but he's also almost always depicted very masculine with a beard and even carrying weaponry. That only leaves one saint. St. John the Evangelist. Also known as John the Apostle, this was the disciple whom Jesus loved. He was present at the foot of the cross during the crucifixion along with the Blessed Virgin Mary. And he's almost always depicted carrying a book. I think that this is a statue of St. John the Evangelist. But what is a statue of St. John the Evangelist doing buried underground on this remote island? There's no history of any Catholic churches on this property. There are multiple statues and multiple monuments, but none having anything to do with religion or the saints. This is definitely a mystery. The area was settled by French colonists in the 18th century, and the island itself was under control of three native tribes. With the arrival of the French, also came organized religion. If the people were living on the land, and farming the land, and raising families on the land, they were surely worshipping on the land as well. I think that statue might have been buried underground way, way longer than they thought it was. Depending on where you're watching this video right now, 
the very ground that you're sitting on could be hiding some secrets of its own. This is the cornerstone of a church that was found during another construction project. This is a headstone from the 1700s that was found during some excavation work. This was a burial chamber that was located underneath New York City while workers were working on a water pipe. There they found the remains of hundreds of people. From bodies to buried treasure, the very ground that we walk on is littered with objects from the past. I don't know for sure that this is St. John the Evangelist, but that's my educated guess, and he waited buried underground for many years to be found. Who was the sculptor? Why was it here in the first place? And who buried it in the ground? I'm also wondering what happened to it after it was found. Where did it go? This is almost 100 years ago that it was found. And there doesn't appear to be any other record of this story anywhere else. If someone happens to know anything about this statue or anything further, I'd love to hear from you. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.